Fee-fi-fo-fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Howdy, I'm Andy Lee and this is a segment of DNA. Now racism has been around pretty much as long as there has been humans. In the 19th century, one of the classifiers we used is whether or not somebody had a single drop of blood. And in particular, they were usually talking about Africans. If you had one drop of African blood, then you were African, you were black. Well, today I want to look at whether or not genetics can tell us where we're from based off of our blood. Now the simple answer, as with the answer to most of those questions, is no. Blood is not that simple. There's not one gene, there's not one chromosome that actually affects and makes our blood. It is a huge combination of a lot of things. Let's go over some of the basics. First off, our blood group, ABO. That is found on chromosome number nine. Next, RH factor. That's the positive or negative when we're talking about our blood type. That's found on chromosome number one, although there's other genes that help make up that RH factor. And those are also found on chromosome number one, chromosome number six, and chromosome number 15. There's another important protein called von Willebrand's factor, and that is found on chromosome number 12. Now the biggest part of our blood is made of the protein hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is a complex protein that's actually made using three different genes. Two of those genes are on chromosome number 16, and one of those genes is on chromosome number 11. But we're not done there. In fact, here's a simple list of several other genes that have to do with proteins that help make our blood. And as you can see, they're spread out throughout our entire genome. So knowing this, would I be able to say that I have the blood of an Englishman? Well, it depends on if the DNA from all of these different genes in all of these different chromosomes are all from my English ancestors. Now, as you've seen in some of my videos, the majority of my ancestors are from England. But all it takes is some ancestors from some different places, and all of a sudden, I may not have the blood of an Englishman. So let's take a look at my chromosomes and where these genes show up. So what I have done with this graphic is I've gone to 23andMe and I've taken each of the chromosomes that has some of the genes for blood on them and I've mapped them out. Now the great thing about 23andMe is not only do they give you ethnicity results, but they also break those down by each one of your chromosomes. You can get a similar thing from GEDmatch. Now each of these three letter or four letter is, represents a gene that has to do with something with blood type. Now you can see with the different colors, they indicate what part of the world that DNA is from. So for instance, if we're looking at this dark blue, well that's going to be the British Irish. And if we want to find out if I have the blood of an Englishman, we should hope that most of those are in the British Irish. Now a little bit lighter blue is going to be your French and German. And the dark, it's almost a black, is Scandinavian. And so those are the three major regions that have been broken out from the Northwestern European. So let's go through some of the major genes and see whether or not I have the blood of an Englishman. Now, if there was one protein that you could say defines blood, that would be hemoglobin. And that actually is the largest percentage of your blood is made of hemoglobin. Now, hemoglobin is interesting because it actually is made up from three genes. It's not made up from just a single gene. So if we go down here, there's actually the HB1, HBA1, HBA2, and you can see on mine, it is either British Irish or it is French German, and also HBB, which is again, British Irish or French German. So the majority of my blood actually is probably a combination of British Irish DNA and French German DNA. Now the one that people think of most is their blood type, A, B, or O. If you look over here, you can see that the A, B, and O gene happens to be in a place where I have all British Irish blood. So when I say I am a type A 
blood. It is British Irish type A at that. Now, looking over most of these, you can see that they almost all fall into the category of the British Irish with some French German and a couple of Scandinavians here and there. But one I want to point out is this RHBG because you can see there is this teal color, which indicates Eastern European, definitely not a English DNA. And so even though the vast majority of my blood is probably this British Irish, maybe with some French German and Scandinavian mix, there is some part of it that is Eastern European. You can see blood is complicated. It's not as easy as saying you have just one thing or just another thing or even just a little bit of both things. There are lots of places on our DNA that help define where our blood came from. So there you have it, folks. I do have the blood of an English one, mostly. But that's just because the vast majority of my DNA is from Englishmen. If you only had one ancestor back seven or eight or nine or ten generations, most likely you don't have any of these genes for their blood as part of what they've passed down to you. That's just probability. So the idea that if you just had one drop of blood, but just one ancestor, several generations back, you are whatever that ancestor was, it's not even true on a genetic basis because genetics is a lot more complicated than just knowing who one ancestor is. We're a combination of the genetics of dozens of our ancestors, but there's also hundreds and thousands of our ancestors that we don't have any genetics from either. So this idea that you can be what one ancestor was several generations back is really completely false. Now, likewise, if you're proud because you think you have the blood of an Englishman, more than likely, you might have something else there too. I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics, and I hope you enjoyed this little fairy tale. You can take this list of chromosomes where different genes for your blood are and find out are you an Englishman also? Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss another episode of Family History Fanatics. Connect with us on Twitter, at FHFanatics, or on Facebook, Family History Fanatics, where we can interact with you and respond to your comments.